Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? Happy hump day. It's Wednesday. Um, today we're going to do a practice flip cup pour in anticipation of my collaboration with Shelly Crawlers from Shelly Art. Um, I feel rusty. I haven't done a flip cup with her pouring medium recipe since video number 186, I believe. It's either 186 or 185, but it's been a while because this is 202. Anyway, um, a couple of shout outs to um, Shelly and Diane for supporting my channel. Thank you so much. And a shout out to Julie and Jenny for sending me Australian Floetrol and Otrol. They both showed up, Jenny. Um, so thank you to, to Julie and Jenny for that. I am now well stocked, y'all. Check it out. So. Um, just a quick reminder, uh, Super Bowl Sunday is coming up this Sunday. I'm going to do live pour at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, here on a channel. The game doesn't start till 6.30, so um, come join me, hang out. Um, might do some spin art, goof around for an hour or so, and uh, just have a chance to chat with you guys, so it'll be fun. See you then, and uh, yeah, let's get started. Get you guys down. So uh, this is the size canvas I would be doing for the collab with, with Shelly. So this is an 11 by 14. Um, and I get asked a lot how much of the golden uh, fluid acrylics am I adding to the pouring medium. And I figured I was to have five colors. I would show you um, just with this one color how much I'm adding. So basically it's great because you can add as little or as much as you want. These are so highly pigmented that um, uh, you can just add a little bit and get a lighter shade or you can add a lot to get the shade that's in the bottle or add even more to make it even more vibrant. So this is my pouring medium. This is uh, the, uh, it'll come up on the screen, the HGTV Ultra Deep Base um, two to one ratio with, what did I use today? I used Minwax Polyacrylic and Gloss. Two to one ratio, gave that a mix. That's what's in here. So I'm just gonna put, I don't want a lot of this color. So we'll do like half a little cup like this. Put the lid on that so it doesn't dry out. And then I just take this and give it a shake. And I'm just gonna pour in a tiny bit like that you guys see that that's all I'm adding and we'll keep the lid there because that's the true color and we'll give this a mix and I do want it to be kind of true to what's in the bottle and this is just ever let me see if I can do this without spilling ever so slightly lighter so it probably just needs a drop or two more just a little bit like that. Close that guy up. And give this a good mix. And there we go. There's my uh, first color. This is golden. This is Titan Green Pale. So it is a nice, very pale, light green color like this. So there's my Titan Green Pale. That's all there is to it, really. Um, it's really that easy. My other colors I'm using today, I have some uh, phthalo blue in the red shade. That's this color. Now maybe I'll add a, make this slightly darker. Uh, darker. I have more of this. See how it's pretty bright for blue? Let me compare it to what's on my cap, the color. So watch when I add just a drop. You see the difference in color there? Hopefully that shows up little bit so I just add those two drops and we'll give this a quick little mix and it'll make this slightly darker so I love it for that that um, that you can control the you the hue of the color so there's my phthalo blue and then we also have Payne's gray which I love because when it hits um, hits the white, it makes really quite lovely 
um, smoky blue color, really pretty. And then I have the sole opaque color today is teal. That's my opaque. The rest of these are transparent. And, yep, and these are all a bit thicker. I did not add water. Um, this isn't like a blow dry technique um, where you want it thinner to have help it spread. I'm leaving these deliberately a little thicker so that um, when I tilt, it won't run all over the place. That's my thinking. We'll see how that goes. And then finally, the last color is um, green gold, which is like split pea soup. It goes nice with the pale green though, so we'll give it a go. So those are the colors. Um, today the, the house paint is uh, my usual um, Glidden Essentials, um, only because I was out um, of the thicker brand, like the Valspar 2000, I'm out of it. And because the Glidden Essentials is a bit thinner, I made up a two cup or four cup batch. I added a quarter cup of GAC 800 to prevent crazing. And I went ahead and added probably almost two ounces of straight up, oh, I threw away the container. Um, uh, what did I use? It was my Plaza Art brand of titanium white, um, just regular body. Um, just to help thicken this up a bit so it's not quite so runny. Um, so now it feels more like the Valspar does. So this does have some uh, regular artist grade um, acrylic paint in it. And what else? Finally, I have a cup of my cell activator. This is the Australian Floetrol three to one ratio with Amsterdam titanium white. You get them dusty. You hear them? I don't know if you guys can hear them. Growling, wagging his tail. Um, I'm gonna give this a thin coat of white with my house paint, just to help things slide around a bit. Uh, that's the only reason I made this big batch. And then uh, we'll do a little flip cup and see what happens. So hopefully get this video up tonight or tomorrow. And then Sunday we'll do the live pour. And then I'll do the Shelly collab. And then I'm going to Florida for five days just to get away from my husband's birthday. This is the third year in a row we have tried to go to uh, Florida. And the last two years, um, the weather has stopped us both times, so we have our fingers crossed. So let me just spread on some of this. That looks good. Let me just use my spatula here to help spread this around a little bit. Woo, 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 woo. Such a poser. Woo, woo, woo. Poser. We know you don't mean it. Whoa, whoa. Dust. Dusty. Dusty. Yeah. Good boy. Go lie down. No. No. Down. Go lie down. All right. This is probably a little thick in spots. Let me give that a tilt. We'll keep that handy. Roll up our sleeves. I see a bunch of bubbles too. So we'll give a bang on this. Get the sides. All right, looking good. Pop some of those bubbles. Oh gosh, Karen, you made a mess. All right. So I'm just gonna take a cup. And you know me, this might take a couple tries, y'all, because 
I'm picky pants with the composition. So now remember <clears throat> the last time I did this, <clears throat> I think it took me three tries. Just blowing, blowing out some more bubbles. I don't like to torch the house paint. I, if you do it too much, you'll get a, a yucky film on it. All right. So we're just going to put a bunch at the bottom, like an eighth of an inch, and layer our color. So I'm going to start. These are going to be a little thicker than the uh, cell activator. I'm going to start with the Payne's Gray. We'll do a little bit of this pale green. The teal. And if we find that the um, colors are too thick, I will take a minute and add a couple drops of water to these and give them a mix. And we'll see what happens with the thicker consistency. And there's the green. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a little bit more Payne's Gray, just cause that's my new favorite color. That's the color of the week, y'all. It's Payne's Gray. All right, give this a flip. Let that sit a second. I already got uh, pain on my elbow, somehow. I'm gonna lose my apron. I think my apron gets me dirtier sometimes. <laughs> All right, fresh gloves should be just about ready. So my husband is super excited about going to Florida. He, uh, he hates winter, like really bad. And he stopped, I think like starting back last November, October, he started uh, stocking airline ticket prices. And I think he got us, it was like under a hundred bucks round trip. Like he got some amazing deal. So I was like, all right, guess we'll go. All right, we ready? Whoa, did you see that? I automatically gave it a lip. I didn't mean to do that. That's just a habit. No, that is just a habit. Got a little bit of color in my cup. I'm gonna uh, scrape that out. Pretty colors, man. Ooh, that's gonna change a whole bit. I'm gonna stick this over here for now. I'm gonna spread that out a little. Use up all the paint. Pop the bubble. All right, let's give it a tilt. See what happens. I'm going off this end. Colors were opening up. I kind of like doing the same sides. I know a lot of people like to go corner to corner. I kind of like to go side to side. All right, bring it back. Even if even if I'm not happy with this, I can tell I already like the um, the thicker consistency of my colors. It's just everything slower, even if the house paint is a little quicker. Um, it's not so much a race. Mm, 
hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Just getting down to the other corner. Get your finger out of it, Karen. Crying out loud. I like how the, uh, the split pea soup color went more yellow when it hit the white. <sighs> Pretty colors. I like the blending. I don't like the composition. I wasn't really trying that hard. It was more of an experiment with the thicker thing, with the thicker colors. Um, I think as much as I liked it for tilting purposes, I think it was a little too thick. Um, and I really didn't get any lacing. So I am gonna try one more time, just once, cause I, you know, don't wanna keep going over and over again um, when it, it could be a perfectly fine painting. So I'm just gonna take one of my little cups, put some water in it, and then I'll show you how much I'm gonna add. Just, just like, uh, it's probably too dark of a color to see how much water, hardly anything at all. But I'll be able to show you the difference. See how it pours off in a steady stream? It's still not super thin. But when I compare it to, watch this will pour too. <laughs> Make a liar out of me. One of these felt really thick. Where it does it, it's thicker. You're just gonna have to trust me, it's definitely thicker. Just gonna add a little water to the blue. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna flip another cup on top of this. That's better. It just come, it, um, it leaves a mound still, but it disappears quicker. I feel like these colors are no good representation to show you on the camera. Maybe the teal is. So there's my water a little bit. Give that a mix and show you my consistency. There we go. See how quick it disappears? But it's not, um, it doesn't, appear, doesn't disappear immediately. So it still has some body to it. That's one, two, three, a little to the light, the pale green. All right, and a little bit into my uh, split pea soup here. <laughs> that color makes a nice contrast, I gotta say. And this one's, um, I seem to have made the most of this color. I'll give this a good mix. Stir, stir, stir. All right, let's go again. How dirty is that cup? Oh no, it's totally yucky. All right. White on the bottom. Let's go phalo blue first this time. Oh yeah, it just, it pours and lays quicker too. And then we'll do just a little bit of the pea soup. The teal. The teal and the pea soup look really great together, I gotta say. The pale color. And then Payne's gray. I did a whole bunch of Payne's gray. Did you see that? All right, Geronimo. Give that a second to settle. I'm gonna control myself and not try to uh, run a lift 
of my cup through it right away either. It's just like such a habit for me now. All right. Oh, you're doing it again. That's all right. I changed my mind. I'm going to run a little bit, make a little bit of a pattern. Yep. Now the consistency is better. Um, got some lacing, some cells. Gosh, the inside of my cup just looks like a, like the Maldives or something. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous on the inside of my cup. Just gonna throw over here. Got that Payne's gray showing now. Let me blow on some of these bubbles. Oh, they don't want to pop. Probably gonna end up losing that lacing. We'll try. So we'll go this way first. We gotta pour off some paint too. So let's come down this way and over here. Better job layering the colors this time for sure. Mm, a little piece of blue. I'll keep you there. Maybe this time we will go corner to corner. What do you say? So we'll slide everything up. Stretch out some of that lacing. Try to keep it. Just gonna use my hand for a second. Go like that. Bring the paint back a little bit to the middle. Let's go up to the, I don't even know, I really like that other edge, this other side, but can't have that much paint. Alright, keep that there. Oh my gosh, I'm loving the colors. all back to this one corner and to let some of this paint go I know it's pretty bye bye <clears throat> oh god I got an island going on I'm gonna bring it over this way a little bit lose some more paint Almost there, a little more, a little more, a little more. Sorry if you can't see, bear with me. <clears throat> I am taking off some of the cells. Because I like the hole. Yeah, I'm taking them off. It looks better without them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got a frog in my throat all of a sudden. Oh my gosh. So, so pretty. Did I stick my finger in that one spot? Did you? Oh. Hold on, I gotta stretch back to where I stuck my thumb in the on the canvas, but I think it's close enough to the edge. And I might be able to get it off because I left the big boo-boo there and I still have a ton of paint to stretch off. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You're almost there. Quarter of an inch, you can do it. Now the paint's slowing down. So now I feel better. I don't have so much paint on my canvas. Off you go. Go. Go off. Okay. Are you off? 
and then let me bring things back. And then I'll show you this. This is a, a much better result with the slightly thinner paints. And I'm gonna flip it around so you guys can see it because I'm looking at it. So this one, um, this is a horizontal painting for a change. So it's upside down for you guys. So let me turn it around. So that's it. <gasps> I think it's really quite stunning. So hopefully I will get some good results. I might throw a little bit of color on this one part here. I don't know, let me stare. Or Karen, man, he's so picky, leave it, right? Or I can see if I can tilt that way a little bit since I came so much off this one part. Yeah, see the paint is barely moving. Besides, what color would you put on there anyway? Because these are all so soft. And it's like I got waves in the water. And the tide's coming in and there's like a little a beachy area. Or a little sandbar or something. Yeah, totally happy. Well, 99% happy. <laughs> Crack myself up. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. If I do anything, it'll be once it's dry. I'll take my paintbrush to it which I've been doing lately. Um, yeah, ta-da. Let me get you guys down. Tell me what you think in the comments. So, yeah, there's the overall look. Love the blending. Um, the split pea color, it works really, really well. Uh, when it hits the white and it blends with the blue really pretty. This is gorgeous up here too. The blending of the colors, nothing muddy. I love this part up here too, so soft and pretty. Like a little sandbar, right? So yeah, that's it. Under half an hour, that's pretty good for me. Oh gosh, the glare. What if I stand over here? Is that better? Uh, thanks for love and support. Um, hope to see a lot of you on Sunday for the live pour. And um, once I get through the collab with Shelly, um, I am going to start working on the Black and White Series Plus 3. So I will be hitting you guys up for colors. Um, so yeah, talk to you soon. Take care, guys. Oh, like, subscribe. Please subscribe if you're watching. It helps me out a lot. And uh, share. See ya. <laughs> Bye. It's sewed up a bunch. So I'm going to go a third time. I'm crazy. I know. I know. Guys can be mad or whatever. Roll your eyes. I know. <laughs> Just no. And I'm going to drop you guys down a little bit too because I feel like this is up really high. Let's see. How's that? Yeah, there we go. A little closer. So third time's the charm, y'all. Really pretty. Not... I think if you're 90% happy with a painting, you keep it. But I'm not quite 90%. I'm more like 75%. So, third time. I'm going to go with that paint gray. That was at the... Mm, that was last. That's right. So, we're going to go try to remember the order. And go with the phthalo blue. Some split pea soup. Whoa, easy on the split pea soup. Mm. The teal. We'll do more teal to cover up the split pea soup. The pale green, all soft and pretty. And then a hell of a lot of Payne's Gray because it's the bomb, y'all. Hmm. And just for giggles, let's throw some of the cell activator on the top of two. Just for, you know, science. Ready? Geronimo. Do I do dare it? Yeah, because I don't like this whole part. Yep. Some 
gloves. Oh, a couple people um, have recommended silicone mats to me, and I actually got one for uh, Christmas. I keep it on my drying table because I got it dirty, so I couldn't return it. I can't, I can't do it here because this is. I'm in my kitchen. This kitchen island is food prep area when I'm not painting, you know, um, and. It, I couldn't really pick it up and move it. I couldn't gather like this. I can gather it up and I gather it up and then I snip the bottom and I pour it into a uh, a paint container, paint can, and then my husband recycles it when it's full and I can't do any of that with the um, silicone mat. So I was kind of bummed out about it because um, I kind of like them, but I'm also not a skin person. Like I just, I don't know, skins kind of gross me out. It's just a personal thing. So... Thanks for the recommendations, but they just don't work for me in my environment, unfortunately. All right, ready? Just a little bit of a lip, not a whole lot. Wow, look at that shade of green, that's cool. Got all that out of the cup too. Let me check for bubbles, it's like one. And a little tiny one there. It'll probably pop when I uh, tilt it. All right. I know. I know I'm crazy. I know. Before I do anything, though, let's. can we just admire the puddle for a second, though? Because it's freaking awesome. Gosh. Too bad that can't just be the painting, right? That is just so, so pretty. And like, I don't even know where to tilt because anywhere I go, <laughs> I'm going to lose something and I don't want to lose anything. So I'm just wiggling all around trying to stretch it out because, oh, there's not a spot I want to want to lose. Gosh, that's just, that's a shame. Uh We got like a straight line island thing going on, so I guess I'll rule with that for a second. I'm gonna use my finger and save some of that color. The paint's gray. I'm just gonna go to my straight line in this gorgeous, gorgeous shade of green right here. Try to keep it a little on the corner. Now this is blended really nice with the colors from the previous pour. So I'm not even gonna go to that corner. I'm leaving that. I'm deciding about this. Well, I guess I just made my decision because I, <laughs> I just spilled white paint into it. So let me take that off just a little bit. We'll leave a little bit of it. All right, so let's head on over to the other side of the canvas. And I do want these cells to stretch out though. They are not going to look uh, all perfect, but that's okay, because it still looks very, very beachy. Let me slow down a bit. Slow down, Karen. I'm gonna head to this one corner. I think that bright yellow can go, so I'm gonna let that go off. I'm gonna just keep a little bit of it there. Let me stop and stare at it a second. The first one was meh, the second one was pretty great, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking right call for number three, y'all. I don't know. I think I made the right call. I have to get rid of some paint right here. So I'm gonna stretch this out a little bit. Can't have that much paint on the canvas. It'll never dry. 
even with the GAC and under a tarp. That's just too thick. So, we're gonna bring this down. Down and over. Yeah, I think down and over is the way to go. Just take some of that off. Try to leave a little bit of the lacing. Let me come back up. I'm gonna straighten it all out. Have a line through it and come back the other way. Yeah, I'm gonna come back the other way a second. Take off some paint the other direction. And then go back a little more off there. Go ahead. I feel like I'm looking at it upside down too. Like I think that orientation, the way you guys are seeing it. And I got a uh, low battery, so now I can't see you, see you guys or what you're seeing. Got to take the glove off. Hit the button. What are you guys saying? Yeah, so what you, how you're looking at it, that's the orientation for sure. And I think I have enough paint off. Let me stare at it. I'm gonna flip it around so I can see it, um, the orientation. So it's still horizontal instead of vertical. Horizontal, horizontal orientation. And let me get some green for a big spot I stuck my finger in on the side there. So I like my continuity. All right, yeah, let me flip this around so I can see what it looks like. Let's see if there's anything else I wanna do or go. I think I'm gonna straighten it out just a little bit by coming toward this one corner. That's not so much about losing paint anymore. I think it took enough off. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ta-da, double, triple, dun da da dun da ta da ta da that, That's a winner. Now I'm happy, like 100% happy. Yay! Yay! Besides a half hour video, oh, that's not long enough for me. <laughs> uh, even though everything I read and learn on YouTube and my channel analytics just all say, your videos are too long, your videos are too long. I'm like, well, I want what I want. And this is way more what I want. Okay. Now take a look, right? I mean, the second one was pretty, but this one, oh my goodness. Let me get you down. There's like the watery part with the lacing and just the, the blending of the colors. My goodness, my goodness. Really, really happy. Really happy. Oh my God, the green, the shades of green. That's mixed in with the Payne's Gray. Like that's the Payne's Gray right there. And then this up here mixed with the Payne's Gray. That color is so versatile. So where is it? Is that it? Yeah, oh no, there it is. <laughs> like all crooked, sorry. There she be. Well, that was upside down for you guys. I'll take really good pictures. I'm super stoked over this. I hope you guys like it. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.